This is a three-axis laser interferometer system, satellite 800, for measuring at the same time pitch, yaw, and distance. At first, you have to adjust the laser interferometer parallel to an axis or another kind of movement stage, whatever. On, on this stage, we have to place the laser and bring it directly to parallelism of the axis. Here we can see the rear part of the laser for all connectors in light guide and supply power unit cables. Here it shows us the electronics, the three axis electronics placed in a standard PC with uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows XP or whatever. Each data will be uh, come through the cable, optical and electronic cover cable and must be assembled. It's very simple to handle. You can see I'm putting in the light guides and the copper cables. <laughs> and next you have to place the light guide from the laser and the supply power unit uh, for the laser. The stability of the laser head takes 20 minutes now we have to remove the cover from axis 2 and axis 3. Plug in axis 2 light guide and axis 3 light guide. The other end of the cables must be placed in the electronic to axis 2 and axis 3. Here you can see the other end of the cable is placed in axis 2, will be fixed And the third cable, light guide cable, is also placed in the electronic axis 3. And next we have to mount the reflector on the carrier of the axis. Two steps. The first step is to do the adjustment holder and then you have to place the three axis reflector into the holder. The carrier is sta started. We move here along four meters, four and a half meter, and bring the laser beam into the parallelism to the movement axis to the reflector. Helpful is the two crosses, what we see. We bring two red balls in the center lines. Here you can see the two red balls. It's not well adjusted now. We are using the screws from the stage of the laser itself. Here's the reflector, of course, the far end. And here are the, use, uh, the screws who are used for adjustment, for alignment, the laser head in parallelism to the axis. Finally, we place the so-called three axis interferometer into the beam. fix it in height and in sight. There is a hole where the laser beam must go through. It will be also controlled and detected by the red balls in the cross line, in this case in the right cross line from the display. We move the complete interferometer inside and bring so 
the right red ball in the correct position. A little bit in height must be settled, but uh, we can see it. And so this is enough in adjustment. The, uh, the right ball shows us the position of the interferometer. The left shows us the position of the reflector. You have to adjust only one beam. The other beams, the other two and three beams, you can see three beams. The other two beams are parallel because the interferometer split it, the main beam from the laser into three measurement beams. They are extreme parallel. The deviation from the parallelism is less than one arc second in height and in sight. That's all in adjustment for a three axis laser interferometer system for long distance measurement for measuring uh, position, distances, velocities, accelerations, angle accelerations, angle positions, pitch and yaw at the same time. Here it's shown the software we switch on all three axes distance, pitch angle and yaw angle. You can set the system every time to zero and now the carrier of the axis is running. You can see the, the red line, the position red line and also the angle green and blue lines shows us the deviation during movement. We set again zero. This you can do by hand or with external or you can also measure with external triggering for instance. We can set the parameters from the system. At first the interferometers the distances of the interferometers in triangulation, the temperatures, the environmental, and also the axis parameters, maybe reflectors or sources like ZLM or encoder, rotatory, and so on. The resolution can be set, at, the sampling time can be set. At, and also the values who will be stored. It's a total dynamic system with a reading frequency of about 40 megahertz. Uh, several examples I show you. The resolution now is 001 micrometer for this kind of electronics. Of course, we have electronics who have higher resolution of about 2.5 or 1 nanometer. And also the angle resolution can be increased up to 001 arc seconds. Here we have done a measurement, a quasi-static measurement. You can see the three axis. You can set zoom. You can store all values, you can export the values to other kind of uh, PCs or network, whatever you want. Statistics can be set, it will be internally cal calculated, uh, and also the values you can see here in the picture. Furthermore, we will do the following to show you the maximum of deviation in angle, pitch and your angle. It's possible to get displacements of about plus minus 10 degrees. And here several tests of, of checking the software from the system.
Here you can see all types of software from CDLM 800, one axis, two axis, up to multi axis, up to six axis is possible. Now we uh, make a test with this special, special screws and special holder to generate an angle in pitch of about 10, 12, 13 degrees and also in yaw. Now I'm taking the screw for bending the pitch angle. You can see at the display it's going in direction minus 10 degrees. 8, 9 and 10. Normally a little bit more but depends on the stage, we can see this stage allows only to bend, it's clamping I see, uh, it uh, allows only uh, to bend about 13 degrees. This is pitch. Ah, 14 degrees, 15 degrees, I told you it depends on the stage and the length of screw. The other axis, the so-called yaw angle, the yaw angle is done here with this screw And also we can see uh, 3.6 or 8 or whatever. It depends also, the plus minus 10 degrees depends, to reach the 10 degrees depends on the stage and the length of the screw. It's here now uh, li limited, but it's uh, uh, only for information for you. You can see the reflector here totally. It's a 4-axis reflector but we use three axis the ferrometer. You can also use four axis if you want. Now here is displayed the pitch angle alone. And I screw and turn again the pitch angle. So we switch off the pitch angle, we go to the yaw angle, displaying the yaw angle. It co it's called axis 3, set 0 for instance. And you remember this kind of screw for changing the yaw angle. You must not uh, uh, move separate the yaw and the pitch angle. You can also uh, pitch and yaw simultaneous in this case. At the end we move with the carrier <coughs> in high speed. High speed means here 2 meter per second. All three axes we display and with helping with this three axis in real time measurement you can determine your maybe stage axis or another kind of free move able in 3D uh, object maybe mirror and so on and so on yeah I think that's all it's a quick description for simple handling of the system. Here we have several results in length measurement and the axis determining 2 meter, 3 meter in distance and also the angle pitch and yaw arrows we can display here and also you can store the data, you can, can uh, prepare data after measurement to